subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i'm going to show you how you can move files from your iphone 15 series to an external storage like an external ssd or hard drive so let's begin the video For this all you're going to need is your iPhone 15, 15 Pro or in this case the 15 Pro Max which has a USB type C port and secondly your external storage device in my case I have this custom NVMe SSD although if you have a simple SSD or an external hard drive it will still work you need to make sure that you have the type C connector on the other side and before we can transfer let's say photos or videos from our iPhone to the external device we first of all need to format our external storage device in the correct format so that the iPhone can actually move files from its storage to the external storage device. So I'm going to connect it with my Windows machine. The process will be same on Mac as well. On my Windows machine, here I have my external storage device. First of all, if you have any data inside your external drive, make sure to back it up first on any other machine because when we are going to format it all the data inside the external storage device will be removed so first of all make sure to back up your data first after that just right click on your external storage device click on format and from here it's going to show you the capacity of your storage device most importantly you're going to look at the file system so you're going to select the option xfat because in this way it is compatible both with windows machine and Apple's machine like Mac and iPhones. So we're going to select XFAT, you can give it any name, quick format and click on start. Again, it's telling you that all of the data inside the external storage device will be removed or erased. So make sure to back it up first. Click on OK, format complete and that's all on our Windows machine. Now we can connect the external device with our iPhone. Now I'm going to connect my external storage device with my iPhone using the type C port. So we're just simply going to plug it in and that's all. In order to verify if it is properly connected or not, we're going to open the files application. And from here, if you have menu like this, make sure to click on the browse button and then we're going to expand locations. From here, it should show your external device. In my case, Wasi's SSD. If it is not showing your external drive, make sure that you have connected it properly with the iPhone and the cable is working. So I'm going to open my external storage device and in this case I have this particular video of my Windows screen recording. So you can either copy files from your external SSD to your iPhone or from your iPhone to the external SSD. If you want to copy files from the external SSD to your iPhone, you're going to click on these three dots, click on select select one or multiple files, click on the share button and from here you can click on save video so the video will be saved on your iPhone gallery. Now if you want to move photos or videos from your iPhone to the external storage so that you have more free storage on your iPhone, you're going to open your photos application and from here you can see first of all it's showing the video that I just copied from the external SSD to the iPhone. Similarly, I can select one or multiple photos as you can see right here along with videos. I'm going to click on the share button and from here I'm going to click on save to files. From here I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to select my external storage device and I'm going to click on save. Again, this save button will only show if you have formatted it in XFAT. So that's why we did the formatting first. Click on save and that's all you can go back open the files application again and you can see now all the pictures and videos are copied to your external storage device so from here you can easily remove those photos because you have backed them up in your external storage device and when you're done just remove it and that's all so now you have this backup of your photos which you can copy to your mac or windows machine so yeah guys, in this way you can move files from your iPhone 15 or the 15 series to an external storage device. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you have any other questions, write them in the comment section below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and as always, stay safe.